Here's a fun trick problem. We have x plus 1 over x equals square root of 3. And our job is to find the value of x to the power 7 plus 1 divided by x to the power 7. Let me tell you, this time not only the final answer, but even the full solution is going to blow your mind. Now, the first thing that comes to mind is to multiply both sides by x and try to turn this into a quadratic equation like this. Once we do that, we can solve for x using the quadratic formula. But guess what? The value of x is not even a real number. It turns out to be complex. Now, you might think, let's take this complex value of x, raise it to the power 7, then take its reciprocal also to the power 7, and add them up. Good luck expanding all that. That would be a nightmare. So, we are definitely not going to do it that way. Instead, we're going to solve this using a clever trick. First, cube both sides of the original equation. We use the formula for the cube of a sum, that is, a plus b, whole cube, which is a cube plus b, cube plus 3, ab times a plus b. So let us expand this step by step. We get x cubed plus 1 divided by x cubed plus 3 times x times 1 over x times x plus 1 over x. Now watch this closely. x and 1 over x cancel each other out, and we are just left with 3 times x plus 1 over x. But x plus 1 over x is root 3. So plug it here. Cube of root 3 is root 3, written 3 times like this. Now root 3 times root 3 will be 3, and thus the cube of root 3 will be 3 times root 3. Now subtract 3 times root 3 from both sides, and boom! We get x cubed plus 1 over x cubed equals 0. Wow, noise! Now take this one over x cube, this side to get x cube equals minus 1 over x cube. Multiply by x cube on both sides to get x cube times x cube equals this will cancel out, and we get minus 1. Using this power rule, we get this as x raised to 3 plus 3 or 6 equals minus 1. Now comes the fun part. Think of 7 as 6 plus 1. And thus we can rewrite x to the power 7 as x to the power 6 times x. But we already know that x to the power 6 is minus 1. So x to the 7 equals minus x. Also 1 over x to the 7 will therefore equals minus 1 over x. Now add both of them. We get x to the 7 plus 1 over x to the 7 equals minus x minus 1 over x, which will be equal to minus of x plus 1 over x. But hey, look here. This thing is equal to root 3, which means the answer to this mind-blowing question is minus square root of 3. And the best part is, we didn't even do any painful expansion or use any calculator. By the way, if you know a bit about complex numbers, then we could have solved this easily using de Moivre's theorem. Let me know in the comments if you can solve it that way, and you'll get a big heart from me. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Also, you can support my channel by joining our community and becoming a member. So good!